just thought I'd fill you in on a bit about who we are and how our relationship's been going with um, Sports Direct. Uh, just over a year ago now, we came on board as legal partners, and it's it's been a great journey since. You know, um, we hope we've helped um, so a number of the trusts. We're over over forty that we've we've helped so far, and um, we certainly learnt a lot as well, which is which has been helpful. So that's just some uh, the standard blurb that we roll out about who we are. Um, basically, you know, we're um, one of the top fifty UK law firms. Uh, what makes it slightly different is two things. One, we're a uh, listed company, so we're a um, fully fledged PLC on the um, AIM market. And um, we also have major offices right across the UK. Uh, and, as well, for, for all of us partners to holiday in, in Dubai. Um, <laughs> I head up the sports sector team. Um, we are one of the, the, the leading sports practices in the UK. Um, across a vast range of sports and providing a whole range of services. So that's, you know, we're divided into those various disciplines. Uh, Connor and I both sit in the commercial team. Um, we're nice guys. We don't do any court work. We don't sue anyone. We just do contracts and then hopefully um, work for everyone and never end up um, with any unhappiness. Um, <laughs> That's what you're telling us. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and like, as I said, we're, we are the nice guys. In, in terms of sport, uh, we get involved with um, a lot of sponsorship work, affinity type, type agreements, um, and anything that will make um, a sports club, club run from sort of catering agreements, partnering agreements, um, Right across to player image rights and that exploitation. Um, yeah, so it's a, you know a, a full hit with you know lots of experience with within within our particular team. And what we've done within sport as a as a firm, again, right across the piece. So a, a lot of um, stadia work, stadia related work from planning right through to the construction contracts and then the stadium operation. Um, a lot of work now on, on governance issues. Uh, you know, there's the, the, the change in the sporting landscape uh, over the last sort of 20 years that I've, I've been working on it in, in terms of public scrutiny and having to get things right at board level. Um, I, I never would have foreseen it and it's, you know, there is so much more public awareness of how sports bodies should be run and there's so much stuff that can you know, end up in the press and for all the wrong reasons. So there's, there's a, a lot for, for lawyers like us mm -hmm. to advise upon. We probably say it's a good thing, but um, hey um, So in terms of what we do with, with uh, Sports Direct, we set up a helpline whereby um, any of the trusts can give us a call. There's half an hour's free legal advice. 80% um, of issues are, are resolved within the half an hour. If anything needs to go further, um, then we've got um, reduced rates agreed with Supporters Direct, and we take it forward on that basis. We've covered, as I say, a lot of governance type, type work, but um, queries relating to, you know, sort of, um, dispute matters, to um, property matters, um, you know, a whole host of, of queries. And, and fortunately, we've, you know, we've got the expertise within the firm to be able to deal with this. But there's an awful lot that, that we've learned along the way. Um, we get some really interesting and challenging questions from, um, you know, from, from the trust. And, and long may that continue. You know, the more interesting our day job is, um, the more we get out of it. 